Wildlife SQ, keeping it 100. Right there in the lens and say it. Not too close to your face, baby. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, humble. <laughs> and thank you for watching my video. Bye. MashaAllah. I cheated on my girlfriend. Guys, we have the confession. We've seen the evidence. We have the confession, guys. I've cheated on my girlfriend. You know your boy was going to get you the exclusive exclusive confession because you know that's what I do but before we jump into this video I uh, have some announcements for you guys so if you feel free if you don't want to watch these announcements to follow the timestamps and skip through it not a problem no hard feelings but the real ones are gonna watch announcement number one this weekend inshallah I am going to be shooting my Uyghur uh, social experiment the title of the video is gonna be called uh, pronounce this word with an iPhone okay that's gonna be the title of the video inshallah so stay tuned for that I put a challenge with my wife that if that video gets 10,000 likes that's a tough number for me okay 10,000 likes within the first week within the first week that's another tough challenge I'm gonna dye my beard red with Hina okay like this guy this guy or this guy okay I'm gonna dye my red beard red with that I think it's gonna be super fun and uh, funny to do that as well too it makes more fun content second announcement is you're probably not gonna like this one um, that I'm gonna be making more content around sexual intimacy between spouses between his between the husband and the wife I'm gonna be making more videos like this guys because I've realized that there is a huge gap in that department a brother came to me for hijama and then he needed to some th stuff with me about his sexual relationship and you know issues that he's having and I realized that wow there is no online resource for that so I'm gonna be creating that it's not gonna be for children it's not gonna be for you know just the average person it's gonna be for married couples or someone who's about to get married so stay tuned for that as well too and of course last announcement today is the Dawa Man podcast I'm gonna be joining that that's why I brought up this exclusive colorway um, for the Akhira shirt merch is dropping soon stay tuned I love you all for the sake of Allah now let's jump into this video all right I cheated on my girlfriend you know your boy was gonna get the confession right oh but let me just be clear it's not a confession from you know who or you think you know who you're talking about no 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 it's not a confession from them or the thumbnail it's a confession from me I have cheated on my girlfriend in the past and let me tell you something it's the worst thing that I could possibly do because when you cheat on someone, the amount of lies that I had to tell her and the girl that I was cheating on her with and the other girl that I was cheating on her, her with, I had to tell so many lies. And do you know how much like a, and, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry if the nature of this video is going to be a little bit more adult and grown, but it's probably for, you know, 15, 16 year old boys and up at this point, right? And those who've been through this as well, I have this brother, may Allah bless him, an 11 year old bro, a new subscriber to the channel, may Allah bless you little bro, but this might not be for you. I think it's still good. You should watch it, but just know that it's, it's going to be a little bit more mature. Do you know the amount of lies I had to tell them? And do you know how I felt? Do you know how I felt? I felt fantastic. Do you, I felt like a pimp. I felt like a player. Do you know how much, like, how much props I got? How much respect I got in my circle of friends? Do you know how much my boys like, yo, yo, another, and you know me, just, yo, another, yeah, Shorty was just like, whatever, bro. And, uh, and, oh, yeah, nah, she's, uh, she, you know, she, do you know how, just by making them feel like, sh I'm sorry for, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to curse, right? And this is just still some of the jahiliya that's left inside of me as well. You know, and I'm trying to eradicate it. I'm trying to remove certain things. I don't curse at all. That's why it's a weird thing for me to say. And I have children, so I would never want to say this as well. So I, please forgive me, but you got to hear the SpongeBob dolphin uh, cry. Uh, only the real ones know about that one, all right? Um, but I felt like a player and I felt great, right? But then karma came and bit me in the backside. Things happen in my life and I realized when my life is at rock bottom and I was struggling with depression, I was struggling with all these things. If I had to put my finger on what was it that I was doing? Wallahi, it was the curse of all these women that I hurt. Do you understand to be a player, to be a quote unquote pimp, to be the man? Do you know how many lives that you have to destroy and ruin? You know how many people I had to hurt? You know how many bridges I had to burn? You know how many relationships I had to break? 
How many lies of I love you I had to say to someone? How many times I had to tell them and just so I can, you know, convince them that I really care about them, I'm feeling them, I'm only exclusively talking to them, just for what? A nut. That's all it was for. Wallahi, it was just for that. And there was no emotional intimacy. So as soon as I was done with the deed, guess what I was ready? To move away, get on to the next. I didn't want to be in the same room with them. Wallahi, I just wanted to do that and just ugh, go away from them. Go take a shower and run away. They're trying to cuddle. I'm trying to get the hell out. I remember I would, well, I'm not proud of this, guys. I'm not. But I'm telling you what goes on in the mind of a player. I'm telling you what goes on in the mind. I would text my friends to, hey, bro, fake call me. Fake call me. Call me on my phone. Fake call me. False call me saying, hey, you, bro, something happened. You got to go. Just so what? I can kick her out of my room. I could kick her out of my house. Wallahi. Your brother SQ is a... Wallahi. These are the types of things you had to do. But in that moment, I thought it was hilarious. Because after I was done kicking them out and after I was done tricking them and fooling them, the truth was I was only harming myself. I was only tricking and fooling and harming myself. After I was done with all that sort of stuff, I'd go and brag to my friend, oh, yo, she bad dumb, yo. Who's really dumb? Me or them? Me. I was jeopardizing my akhirah. You see how I like plugged in the shirt? I didn't even mean to do that, but sometimes, you know, akhirah is such a good word. Okay, anyways. I would talk to my friends and brag to them about my techniques, my hacks, my life hacks to get rid of girls. Wallahi, it was sad. I remember this one girl. She came uh, from her university to my university on the false pretense that she was going to stay the night with me. Astaghfirullah. Some of you are like, SQ, oh, stop revealing your sins, SQ. Stop it. This video isn't for you. You're too immature and childish. Please leave and exit this video. This video is for those. So to, to those who've been through it, and those sisters who are pr probably going through it right now, and for sisters to don't fall into the tricks and the traps of these boys. Wallahi, I was one of them. I was one of them. I still have that jahili in me. I still wouldn't say, trust me now. Because I'm still a jahil inside, in heart. At heart, I'm still a jahil. Don't trust me either. I'm telling you this because I want you to get in the mind of a player. And I'm going to make a series like this. How to be a Muslim player. Or how a Muslim player. Something along those lines. I don't know. I have a lot of content ideas, guys. I make daily videos. So I can make a video any day, inshallah. You know how much that, that killed me on the inside of what I was doing? I remember. So she came over. You're like, SQ, jump around. Get back to the point. Okay. So she came over. Wallahi, I'm so, sp that's so dumb. Listen to this. This is a true story. So she came over with her little weekend bag and all that sort of stuff there. And guess what? After I'm done, after I'm done with my deed, after the deed is sealed, I'm like, yo, I need to get this girl out of my room. I was in a dorm at that time. I was dorming. I was like, yo, how the hell do I get rid of her? How do I, how do I get rid of this girl? So I had two phones at the time. I had a sidekick at the time. Tell me y'all know about the sidekick. Tell me y'all know about the sidekick. The, only the real ones know about the drop in the comment section. Tell me you know about the sidekick, right? I had AIM. I had, I had, I had my screen. You know what my screen name on AIM was? Don't laugh. You're going to laugh. Jigaman0502. You already know, all right? Jigaman0502. That was my screen name, man. That's, that's the kind of mindset that I was in now. Now it's way of life SQ. Once upon a time, the brand was Jigaman. What? What was Jigaman's objective? Jigaman's objective was to sleep with as many girls as he could, catch as many bodies as he could, get just super fly and just mess with chicks. That, that, that was the Jigaman brand. This is way of life SQ now. Am I still the same person? Sure. But there's still Jahiliya in me that I'm trying to remove. And I'm a sinner at the end of the day. But I'm letting you know that, you know, you can change your life. So if you're a dude out there who's going through this right now, doing this, and you're stuck in this, just know there's hope for you. If I could get out of it, I'm sure you're better than me. You could get out of it too. Damn. Inspiration. All right, so get back to the story, SQ. Come on, man. Do you have ADHD? I do. Actually, thank you very much. I'm actually offended. That's actually a real disorder. Anyways. So I had my sidekick, and I had a number. So... I texted myself from my sidekick on my regular phone, right? Hello? 
I called my cell phone. Hello? First text, and I'm like, hold on, hold on, babe. Man, what's happening? I put on my best Shah Rukh Khan impression with my acting. Huh? Mom's in the hospital. Wallahi, I was willing to put my mom in the hospital to get rid of this girl. I was willing to put my mom in the hospital to get rid of this girl. Mom's in the hospital. Yo! Hold on, give me a second. Just, you know, building up the drama. She, I'm sure she's not dumb. She knew. She knew I was up to something. She's not stupid. Yeah, chicks aren't stupid. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Anyways, called myself, hello? What you mean? What you, what you mean? Got on one of those. I told her, stuck for Allah forgive me. May Allah grant our parents long life. May Allah grant my mom long life. Wallahi, I used her name to commit zina, then kick this girl out for zina. Can I tell you why? Now I remember. Wallahi, may Allah forgive me. Now I remember why I was kicking her out. Beastin', because I'm just like, oh, you know what? Okay, you're tired of her, whatever. Just let her sleep, whatever, you know? Go play some Xbox. The reason I was kicking her out is because this other girl hit me up on the text saying she wants to come through. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, SQ? At that time, I wouldn't call myself SQ. It was something else. I don't need to go into that part. Damn, blank person. You could catch two bodies within an hour? I got bit by mosquitoes, subhanAllah. <laughs> you could catch two bodies within an hour? Two hours the same night? Yo, imagine this story you could tell people. Well, like the shaitan was just having popcorn and just whispering in my ears and just like <laughs> making me move. I was impressing the shaitan, actually. Guess what? That's the reason I was willing to put my mom in the hospital. Just so I could catch another body in the same night. Sad, isn't it? But that's the truth. And I'm embarrassed of myself for it. And honestly, without this video, I would never have thought about that. Never have thought about asking Allah forgiveness for specific sins. I ask Allah to forgive me all the time, obviously. But for a specific sin. For a specific sin like that. So... This isn't the crazy part of the story. So eventually I got her to leave and say, hey, listen, I'm so sorry, but you have to, you have to go from here. Got to go to my mom in the hospital. She's like, but where am I going to go? I don't have anyone else in New York. And you know what I said? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. She leaves. Other girl comes through. No problem. SQ catching bodies. <laughs> Doing his thing. Telling people the other day, yo, crazy. I kicked Shorty out the crib. Yo, I did the phone call. Ha, 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 ha. That's what it was. Okay, cool. I don't hear from her for weeks, for months, months. And then I randomly see her get online on, on AIM, on my sidekick. And I see her, you know, hit her, hey, what's going on? And subhanAllah, and this whole time, I never even contacted her once. What? She didn't even contact me. Maybe it was the embarrassment of she realized what I did and she just didn't, couldn't face herself, that she just fell for such a... Because I was a she, you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Looked nice, this and that, but the truth was I was a predator. I was a predator on these poor girls. Because you know this gift of gab that I have, this ability to motivate, this ability to speak and influence people and relate to people. I had this ability, now Alhamdulillah, it's for the sake of Allah, I use it in that direction and I'm doing a better job with it and I've gotten better at this skill. I read, I study it, I, I, I find true my, my talent and my craft, but I was good at it before too, but I was using it to get chicks. So I was doing exactly this, but with girls. Anyways, I go, I really hope that I haven't bored you. I really hope. And if you've exited the video, probably best for you. But if you've stayed this long, I appreciate you. And I hope you're learning some lessons from this. I hit her up. We hit each other. We talk and all that sort of stuff. And she tells me something. She said that she got raped that night. She said she had nowhere to go. And she started sleeping she didn't have any money for the hotel. She's a college student. She just went and just like, you know, rode on the train for a little bit. And she got raped that night. May Allah forgive me. May Allah bless her with the highest levels of paradise and guide her to the straight path. And have mercy upon her, her generations to come. And forgive me for my mistakes and forgive me for my insolence and just my, my nafs, my greed to catch bodies and fulfill my desires. May Allah forgive me. Wallahi, may Allah forgive me.
the only way that we can get over these things is by owning our truths. By owning this, guys. Not by making a fake apology video. Not by saying a fake, hey guys, hey, just want to apologize to all my exes that I've harmed and hurt. Nah, bro. This is an apology. Not just an apology, but a reflection about who I was. And I'm not that person anymore. Even though traces of Jahili are still inside of me. But may Allah guide me to the straight path in you as well. In that moment, I was just like, yo. Not my problem. Ooh, sorry to hear that. Oh, man, I felt bad, but I'm just like, not that bad. I'm just like, oh. Sounds like your problem. You shouldn't have been out night. You should have found a family member. You should have hit up a friend. Look at me. Look at me. What kind of person am I? Wallahi. By now, either, you know, not either. I think that some of you could have a really like, damn, SQ, I can't believe you did something like that. Sorry, mosquito bit me, so I'm just like scratching my leg the whole time. May Allah, May Allah forgive me. Some of you might be like, SQ, I'm really embarrassed to have known a person like you. And you know what? I don't blame you. Some of you are like, SQ, I'm un unsubscribing now. Like, God, bro, like, I knew you had a past, but I didn't know you were that bad. I'm leaving now. I'm never coming back over here. I'm blocking you on Instagram. I get it. I approve. I think you should. I think you should unsubscribe from me. I feel like I should lose followers because of this. I feel like I should lose my influence because of this because I don't deserve it. I'm a sinner at heart. I'm, I'm a predator at heart. And I've wronged so many people. This is just one story. This is one story. But the reason I'm telling you this and I've labeled the title, I cheated on my girlfriend, is because to let you know of what goes on in the mind of a cheater. Why people do this. We're unfulfilled in the heart. We're missing something. I was insecure. I was insecure inside about who I was. I had intimacy issues. My father done left me. I had no guidance. I was fulfilling a missing part of my life in by catching bodies and being with all these women. The truth was I was insecure and unfulfilled on the inside. That's the truth. Don't feel bad for me or sorry for me, but try to understand what goes on the mind of a player, what goes in the mind of someone who cheats on women and abuses women like that. And wallahi, until you have a daughter, you don't know what that's like. I could honestly say that I've been surrounded around women. I have no, no father in my life. My mom is there. My sister is there. I have a niece. I have a wife. I have two daughters. Six women in my life. I'm the only man until my nephew just came through. Now there's two men in the house, mashallah. But that's what I was doing. And honestly, there's a lot of old SQs in the world still till this day. And if I could somehow use my platform to teach people from my mistakes so they don't fall into this trap, this is my sadaqah jariya. Because my daughters are gonna be out there and they're gonna meet someone one day. It's the reality of it. But I don't want them to meet the old version of an SQ. I want them to meet the new version of an SQ and know that there's a lot and produce a lot more now SQs than before SQs. I hope that's making sense. But that's not what the video is about, is it? The video is about, hey beautiful, come here, come here. My daughter's here now. Wallahi, a daughter's here. Come here, beautiful. Come here, beautiful. Come here, beautiful. Ah. Oh. Remember, you can't look at yourself in the top view. You have to look at yourself only over here. Okay. I don't have a little eye. Hey, hold on. Can you? Can you? Can? Can you just say assalamu alaikum or something like that? <laughs> Do I listen to me? Just know that your dad loves you a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay? Your dad loves you a lot. And listen to me. No one will love you more than me ever. Okay? And one day you're going to get married to a very good person, inshallah. You? Not me. I'm your father. Mm -hmm. I'm your father. <laughs> you're always going to be my baby, okay? I love you so much. I love you so much. Yeah. Okay? And daddy's always going to protect you. Yeah. But daddy's not going to be around forever. So daddy's going to teach you life lessons. Okay? okay? Look at me. Where are you looking at? Looking at the pool. She's looking at the pool. Listen, oh, listen, guys. This video is to prevent cheating from happening. This video is. De it's okay, baby. This video is designed to prevent cheating from happening. This video is designed to stop people from becoming predators. So if you're down this path, stop it. Stop it right now. And if you know sisters and sisters, if you know someone's like this, and he hasn't talked to your dad, hasn't introduced himself to your family, to your brothers. Wallahi, he might just be an old version of SQ. And he might be talking to other chicks as well. You got to be careful. And you're not wrong for being suspicious against him.
protect yourself. Protect yourself. And if a parent's watching out there, love your child. Give them the love that they need so they don't have to go seeking someone else's approval and their love from the outside. I love you and appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you benefited from this video, smash it with a thumbs up so other people could benefit as well. Take a look at my other videos right over here. One's best for viewer, one is the most recent video as well. Go through the cards that I'll be leaving up over here. Watch some of these videos, it would mean a lot to me. Stay tuned for that uh, Uyghur uh, social experiment. And until next time, I'm out. We're out of here.